Hello, Gemini. It's Milady from Milady's Way Tarot. I heard leave it. And I'm coming to do your weekly hmm general reading for the week of April 4th through the 11th in the week of April 4th through 11th, 2022. The cards I'm using today are Wisdom of the House of Night by PC Cast. I want to thank everybody for like, sharing, subscribing, and setting up personal readings with me. All right, more foes. Let's get this show on the road. All right, let's see what's going on here. All right. Mm, so we got High Priestess of Air, High Priestess of Fire, and they both reverse, okay? So I do feel like this is some kind of secret crush going on, okay? Could be a secret relationship. But with this, with this High Priestess of Air reverse, this makes me feel like somebody got secret thoughts about somebody, okay? Somebody that they want to be with, want to see, want to, you know, want to do things to you, okay? <laughs> or you could want to do things to other people, all right? Let's see what's going on with the Gemini. Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? All right. So, we got the differences card here. So, this makes me feel like, of course, you got some differences going on with somebody that you're dealing with, somebody that you're seeing. Okay. Mm, could be some kind of cultural differences, religion, race, social differences. Okay. All right. So, we got the invisible card here. So, I do feel like you feel invisible to this person. Okay. Definitely some kind of deep crush. I feel like I don't... <sighs> I feel like I don't have a chance because I'm not like this person okay all right so we got the confidence here so i do feel like somebody is getting ready to start building that confidence or this is somebody who is usually very confident about everything but it's like i don't want to step to this person because i don't want to be neglected is what i heard but i don't want to be rejected okay rejected or neglected all right All right, so we got the movement card here. Wow. So it looked like somebody is just getting ready to shoot for the stars or just thinking about it, okay? It's just like if I'm going to talk to you, if I'm going to ask you something, I'm going to go all the way up. I'm going like, hey, can we go have Netflix and chill, <laughs> okay, or something like that? Let's go have um, dinner in, in, in Netflix or something. I don't know. But somebody is, is reaching for the stars. They're going to tell exactly what they want or they're thinking about it, okay? Because this could be somebody just fantasizing what they want to do, what they want to say to this person, okay? Fantasizing about having that confidence to say what they want to say to this person that they really have a crush on, okay? So we got the message card reversed here. Ooh, yeah, somebody is shy. Somebody's shy. And I do feel like I just saw it sitting in somebody's phone somebody got the message already sitting in their phone but they scared to send it and i do feel like a lot of people are scared that it's gonna get unread or be left on red that's what people say it's left on they left me on red okay all right so we got the yep high priest is the fire reversed here so this makes me feel like yeah that passion and care and all that want is going only one way right now. Okay. It's only going one way right now. So it's kind of, kind of scary. I do feel like you might need to fall back on this one. Cause this is definitely a, probably a left on red kind of situation. And then you don't want to do this kind of stuff and they might be working with you. Then next thing you know, you in some big trouble. Okay. All right, so we got the forbidden card here. So this person may be in a relationship that might be why it is, or this person is very serious about their job or about school or about whatever y'all got going on. They don't want to um, mess that up, okay? They don't want anything to do with anything that's going to alter their um, performance, their job, or whatever they got going on. Definitely a, a forbidden thing, but this crush is crazy, but it's like somebody is... 
just scared to do it. I mean, I feel like in the way that you want to do it, it'd be bad, but it, dang. It's crazy because I feel like the way that you want to do it is bad, but I feel like I want to say more to get this person to go out with me, even though, you know, I can just say, hey, you want to go out for a coffee or, you know, I want to let this person know that I really like them, though. I don't want them to think that, okay, well, I just want to go out for coffee with a, a work friend or with a school buddy. I want them to know that I'm interested in, in more. Wow, because I do feel like the conversations could lead to, you know, this is this person likes me, okay? But this person is connected to something or somebody that's going to, like, cut the relationship but won't let the relationship move forward. Um, so definitely, if you're going to tell this person you got a crush, that's fine. Just don't do it in a very aggressive way because I do feel like it's going to cause problems, okay? All right, yeah, we got the choices going on here. So you can leave it and see how things just work itself out. You know, as being friends, I do feel like that would be the best choice here. Um, or you can just jump in head first, okay? <laughs> jump in head first, all right? So we got the complicated card reversed here. So I do feel like whatever this is, this is not complicated at all, okay? So you know who this person is. You know that there may be reasons why you shouldn't be talking to this person or this person can't talk to you. Um, and you know it could be like um, detrimental to some situation, to y'all friendship, to the relationship, to y'all business or to a business, okay? To, you, to, your, to your job, to your career, okay? So I do feel like you got to think about the big picture here. And sometimes we got to let them come to us. Well, other than that, that's all I have for you guys. Make sure to check your sun, moon, and rising signs. Thanks for watching.